That was a good touch. Wow. wow. I wish I had a better act. <laughs> well, right now, I would like to explain to you how all card tricks are done. I can explain them in one word. One word is control. That's all that happens. The magician controls the cards. Allow me to demonstrate. Would you help me with this one? Mm -hmm. What I need to do is to have one card that we will control. Any card, and because I'm going to have you sign the front of the card, it might be a good idea to get something other than a picture card. A number card would be best. So name any card you'd like, and that's one we'll use. It's up to you. Uh, two of hearts. Ah, one of my personal favorites. <laughs> There's the two of hearts, and would you please, in big, bold letters, sign your name, your front, first name on the front side of the card. That'll be perfect. Excellent. Nice and big. Now, the reason I have the card spread face upwards is so that you can see that that is the only two of hearts in the entire deck. Sometimes I demonstrate this mystery, and people say, oh, well, obviously, you have duplicate cards, but that's the only one. Even if I did have a duplicate two of hearts, of course, that's the only one with your name on the front. Okay? Now what happens is the magician says, put the card back into the deck, and that's where he cheats. <laughs> I'll show you what I mean. It goes in, I'll shuffle them up. Man, you haven't blinked once. <laughs> that's good. So it really is hopelessly lost. The card is not on the bottom or next to the bottom. I mean, it could have been, but it would have been just coincidence. Or the top, it's not near the top. If I want your card, I just snap the fingers, and it will rise to the top all by itself. That's the mystery. Now in slow motion, it looks like this. The two of hearts goes into the center of the deck, about halfway down. All I have to do is snap the fingers. That's all it takes. The card will rise to the top position, and it works every single time. Now, in slow motion, it looks like this. It really goes in, but I'll put it in from the front. Now, obviously, if I do not snap my fingers, it will not rise up to the top of the deck. In fact, it won't even be next to the top. It stays in the middle until I do the secret move. The secret move is nothing more than a snap of the finger, and it's up on the top once again. <laughs> now, anybody can do this. In fact, would you do me a small favor? Lift off about half of the pack. Perfect. Cover it up yourself. Put all those cards on top. Take the entire deck out of my hands. Just snap your fingers. Perfect. You're a natural. Turn over the top card if it worked. Bow to your thunderous applause. Ladies and gentlemen, you have a winner. Watch the card very closely. Not yet. <laughs> it goes into the middle, but to be even more fair, I will place it in the middle of all of these cards, then all of these into the middle of all of these cards. Now it's hopelessly lost until, of course, I snap the fingers, then it jumps back up to the top once again, cleverly disguising itself on the way. <laughs> no, perhaps the deck didn't hear me. Here, let me start again. There's the ten. If I snap it like this and give it a little squeeze, it turns into the two of hearts. Are there any questions up to this point? <laughs> See, I'm just making it up as I go along. <laughs> Yeah, that's right. And she knows, because you tried, didn't you? You felt it? I didn't. You didn't? Look, I'll tell you what I'll do this time. I will push the card forward about halfway. I won't use the whole deck. I'll just cover it with a few cards, just a few like that. I'll push it in, give a little snap. It jumps to the top. But actually, this is not the top of the deck. See, this is considered the top of the bottom half. The top of the deck would be this part over here. So watch the top of the deck, and you'll see it every single time. You really will. I have an idea. To make this easier to follow, I will eliminate half of the pack. I won't even use those. Just half of the deck. In fact, would you take this yourself? All I'm going to do is riffle down the corner. Anytime you'd like, just say stop. I will stop, and I'll let you put the card in yourself. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Are you ready? Yeah. <laughs> Face down. Anytime. Stop. Perfect. Face down like that. Watch. No moves, no tricks, no manipulations. It is not on the bottom. It is not on the top. It stays in the middle until I snap the fingers. Then it jumps up to the top once again. I'm going to push it in with one finger, because I really want you to see it. It goes in the middle. That's about halfway down. With one finger, I'll push it in. Watch. Until you do a little snap, it jumps up to the top once again. Now let me do this again. It goes in the middle. I'll turn this face up. That way you can see it's not on the top yet. Not until I do the secret move. See, here's the secret move, a little tap and a snap, and it's back on top. Now when you do this, you can do it in slow motion. Just place it on the table. Cover it with all of these cards. Snap. It still jumps up to the top of the deck. It's always on the top. But I have an idea to make this even easier to follow. Tell you what I'm going to do. I will eliminate a few more cards. <laughs> I will elim eliminate all of these. That's all I can do. Now that's as few as I can use and still be able to place the card into the middle of the deck. Now it's a very thin deck, but the principle is the same. It goes in the middle. It's sandwiched in from above and below until I push it like this. 
Snap the fingers, it jumps to the top. I'll do this again. There's the card. It goes in the middle between the other two cards until I snap the fingers, and then, of course, it jumps to the top position. Now, sometimes when I do this, I cheat. <laughs> Once I did this, and I did cheat by accident, I didn't place it in the middle. Instead, I actually put it on the bottom of the packet. That's okay. I snapped. It still jumps up to the top. It just had to go through two cards. And this works in anybody's hands. In fact, would you put your hand out like this? Like a table. Watch closely. There is the card. Face down, off the top, into your hand. I will cover it with these cards. I'll even spread them out. All you have to do is snap your fingers. Perfect. That's good. <laughs> Turn over the top card. Let everybody see. We have another winner. There may be some suspicious folks out there. <laughs> Quite honestly, there's only two ways that this can be done, or two categories of methods. One is it could be sleight of hand. Another is it could be a trick. <laughs> that is to say, maybe before the show I had you sign a duplicate two of hearts. That's not the case. So just to make this card extra unique, <laughs> ah, <laughs> perhaps you'd care to help out. Would you put your initials or your signature on the front of the card as well? What we're going to do is have several people sign the card. That way we know there's no possible chance of having a duplicate. And to make sure that I'm not using any sleight of hand, what I'm going to do is wrap the deck with rope. Please do. Watch very closely. I am going to sleight of hand proof the pack. And the best way to do that is to wrap it up with rope. Now there's no way to perform sleight of hand with a deck that has been wrapped with rope. I know <laughs> because I've tried. <laughs> it just cannot be done. Many have tried, and several were seriously injured in the attempt. <laughs> Look at that. That puppy's all tied up. Now, that's sleight of hand proofed. Is there a card out there? I'm scared. With, oh, no, please, please. Enjoy. Relax. <laughs> and just for fun, would you sign the card as well? And sign it on the back. On the back, just in case. That's good. Any kind of identifying mark will be fine. And let's have that back. Oh, look at that. There's no way I could have a duplicate of that puppy. So the deck has been sleight of hand proofed with the rope, and the card has been signed by what? 20, 30 people. <laughs> <laughs> and to make it even more unique, let's tear off a corner. How about like that? <laughs> I think that should be pretty convincing. That is the only one. The deck has been sleight of hand proofed. The card that's been signed by 20 or 30 people goes into the center of the deck, and that really is the middle, isn't it? That really is. I haven't cheated yet, <laughs> but it's coming up. <laughs> Watch. I'd like to see this one myself. <laughs> that is the middle of the deck. It does go in. Is that still in the middle? Still the signed card? Yeah. Watch. Inside. All the way. Not yet? Hasn't gone through yet. Watch. Two of hearts, all the way in. Look. All I have to do is snap the fingers. <gasps> yes, I felt it. <laughs> You'll have to take my word for it, but I did. I felt it. One card rises to the top. Can you take a little peek under there? That is definitely the top card. It is signed on the front. It is signed on the back. And just for those who are extra suspicious, it has the missing corner. Ladies and gentlemen, that's the mystery of the ambitious